New Hope. It's Pastor Dave here again with the Daily Hope. Um, if you have your Bibles, actually grab your Bibles every time, every time you join me with this, um, because I love actually having a physical Bible in my hand, and I want you to learn that too. It's it's great. Um, so turn with me, would you, in your Bibles. You can pause this video, go and grab it, and then turn with me to Revelation 13. And today I'm going to talk about um, something that really, well, I mean, it might be controversial, but it really isn't. Um, it, it's something that all Christians should be aware of, and it's called the Mark of the Beast. And it's found in Revelation 13, uh, and verses 16 through 18. I'm just going to read those for us here. Um, and he, that is, he's talking about the beast or the Antichrist, um, whatever name you want to use for him. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save that he has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. So a score is twenty. So three score is sixty. So six hundred and sixty-six. Um, now, the mark of the beast, I was watching a, a preacher on the internet the other day, and he said, you know the difference between a mask and a mark is one letter. And he was being kind of hyperbolic. And um, I just wanted to kind of educate you guys uh, because <laughs> I had to educate myself a little bit. I had to remind myself a little bit. In chapter 13 of Revelation here, it talks about how uh, the Antichrist is revealed. And I just want to let you know that he gets revealed um, to the whole world. And he does um, amazing signs and wonders and things that will fool even the, the most elect, it says, of us. Um, so the most religious of us will be fooled. Um, but it says that that's going to come first before the mark of the beast. And I know um, a lot of us, speaking of masks, have issues with the mask. And, and this guy that I heard, you know, saying that the mask is the mark of the beast. Well, you know what? It's not. It's not. It may be something that they're using to, you know, this world or the devil or whoever is using to get us used to wearing something or having something on us in order to do financial transactions. Maybe, I, maybe it's possibility, um, but it's not the mark of the beast because he hasn't been revealed yet. And, um, so I just want to encourage you with that, if that's encouraging, I hope it is. Um, and, and just want to warn you about uh, assuming things in our world are what they aren't really. Uh, and what I mean by that is, you know, things have to go in the order that God says they're going to go in um, for them to be the, the real thing, right? So let's watch. And let's pray, and let's read our Bibles, and let's let the Bible correct the way that we think. Um, because my thinking had to be corrected the other day. Um, so pray with me, and we'll all ask God, we'll repent of our sins, and ask God to uh, correct us and make us think right. Uh, Lord, we just come before you, and we thank you um, for just being so patient with us. Uh, I pray, Lord, that you'd help even me, um, being a, a guy who loves the Bible, and I can be totally wrong, Lord. Um, but I just pray that you would work on our hearts, use your word to correct us, to make us think right like you do. 
and um, help us all to be a good witness for you out in our community. And I just pray it, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, we'll see you later, New Hope, tomorrow. Bye.